Hey guys, Justin Bryan here from SelfMadeSuccess.com and in this video I'm going to show you 10 online business ideas that you can start right away and I'm not talking about you know how some of these other people who do videos and they say oh you can start it right away but really you have to build up your brand or build up a bunch of followers or you know do this and do that and put a bunch of money into it first and things like that no this is stuff you this is stuff you can actually start today if you want to literally you can watch the rest of this video and start it in the next five minutes because that's how easy and quick it is to do it costs little to nothing for every one of these things to start and these businesses can make you ridiculous amounts of money so it's all internet based so it can be done from home it's all online so enjoy I hope you like these ideas and number one is Fiverr. Fiverr is something that is a great website it's a great website for starting a business because all you have to do is have some kind of skills that people want um, and everybody has skills you've developed skills naturally that you were born with you have skills that you developed through hobbies skills you've developed through uh, school skills you've developed through jobs being a business owner all kinds of things you just get skills from a lot of different things so you can use those skills and people can hire you to do them and you can do it all online all using Fiverr you don't have to negotiate contracts you don't have to negotiate prices you don't have to compete uh, with other people just to get that person's job uh, except for you know ranking your gig that's the only thing you gotta do is just kinda make your gig which is these little boxes here that um, you can see what they're offering and then it posts them in a list and when people search for that yours comes up if it matches what they're searching for so you don't have to compete with people and prove yourself before getting the job all you have to do is deliver when people hire you and they'll give you good reviews and good reviews get you more business so Fiverr is probably the best way to start a business without having to actually make anything all you have to do is upload a few pictures make your gig on here and tell them what you're gonna do for them and why your um, your gig is really helpful to them so when people search for something like that whether it's in the graphics in design field, whether it's in digital marketing, writing and translation, video and animation, music and audio, programming and tech, advertising, business, lifestyle, gifts, fun and bizarre, other. It doesn't matter. You can do voiceovers, you can do writing services, you can do graphic design services, uh, photography, all kinds of stuff, um, video editing, audio, all these types of kind of minor things that you can get done are on Fiverr everything starts at five dollars so start your business on things that you can do for five dollars ten dollars twenty dollars and then eventually you can build your way up to doing hundreds of dollars per transaction and really turn it into a full-time uh, business that you can really live comfortably on so I definitely recommend Fiverr number two is start a YouTube channel and I mention this all the time to people who ask me how to start a business and which direction to go in because YouTube really covers a lot of different things you just go to YouTube and you upload your first video you have your account up here and you press that button up there to upload your first video you can see some of these videos and the amount of views they've gotten you know 500,000 plus uh, 2 million plus 1 million plus another 1.5 million plus I mean you can get a lot of traffic on YouTube it's free to do it's unlimited video hosting all for free and you can go through and find some videos that you really enjoy and figure out kinda how they're successful but YouTube allows you to make a business in pretty much in re any genre you want you can be a comedian uh, you can play video games and do a gaming channel you can talk about technology, you can talk about business, and uh, you can talk about investing tips if you are good at investing, uh, personal development, you can give tutorials, you can do reviews, there's all kinds of different things you can do, uh, and just start a video 
and after you've got that first video done just keep going make a video a day five days a week that's what I try to do and eventually you just get really good at it if you stick with it so you can make a lot of money doing YouTube videos number three blogging starting a blog is one of the best things you can do these days as far as starting a business because there's so many different ways to make money from a blog blogs can get you a ton of traffic and really if you have a ton of traffic that is um, targeted to any kind of certain industry you can find ways to make money from it so go ahead and just start the blog right away and just get going and then figure out obviously what you're good at or what you're passionate about so that you'll stick to the blog and you'll keep doing it for however long it takes and you'll start to see traffic then you'll find ways to monetize it you can monetize it with ads you can monetize it with um, courses you can monetize it with ebook sales you can monetize it with affiliate links you can make money from your own courses that you sell your own consulting I mean there's so many different ways but uh, if you want to learn how to start a blog pretty quickly and do it cheap you can go to my blog which is selfmadesuccess.com just go up here to start a blog you'll see this button in the menu click that and it'll take you right to an article that'll show you how to uh, do that pretty quickly in just a few steps okay so I would definitely recommend starting a blog if you want to start any kind of online business number four is Kindle publishing and what I mean by Kindle publishing you've probably heard of Amazon of course and you've probably heard of Kindle which is Amazon's way of selling digital books or ebooks so you can publish as many ebooks as you want on Amazon and sell them without having to get editors without having to get a publishing company without having to do a bunch of media and a bunch of um, interviews just to get enough people to hear about it all you have to do is go to Amazon go to kdp.amazon.com and that's how you become a Kindle direct publisher it's all free to start and you get uh, about 70 percent of every book sale on Kindle so if you want to make money publishing ebooks on any subject that you know something about I would recommend this course uh, by Stefan Polernos and if you it's called K Money Mastery I took it it's very interesting it's very good for um, helping you learn how to sell and rank books in Amazon and mass produce them so if you want to do some kind of an ebook business on Amazon start publishing your first book pretty quickly um, I would recommend going to selfmadesuccess.com slash k dash money dash mastery okay once again selfmadesuccess.com slash k dash money dash mastery that will take you to this page you can get it um, it's pretty pretty uh, reasonably priced for the things you get from it so I definitely recommend that but selling ebooks on Amazon one of the biggest marketplaces on the internet you can't go wrong if you get good at it number five is you can make Udemy courses so if you're not really into ebooks or you are into ebooks and you want to repurpose them um, you can make money selling courses on how to do different things so you know skills you've picked up from your profession from your hobbies from school from things you've done growing up from things you've done with family you can put those into courses if you know anything more than the average person does about anything you can teach them in a course on Udemy so you just go to udemy.com and you can uh, become an instructor you just click that button up there become an instructor and you know you if you want to you can check out some courses on here they'll probably even have plenty of courses on how to be successful on Udemy so you can take a few free courses on Udemy and then you can start selling courses and you know you can sell them for fifty hundred few hundred dollars a course and if you keep producing more and more courses let's say you do a course a month you can really build a great income from that and it's all based on Udemy they do most of the selling and promotions for you so you don't have to be a marketing guru to do this all you have to do is know something that people want to know and deliver it in a way that's easy for people to learn so that you'll get good reviews 
Number six, you can start a podcast. If you don't believe podcasting works, check out people like John Lee Dumas' podcast, Entrepreneur on Fire. You can check out Pat Flynn's podcast, Smart Passive Income. You can check out Tim Ferriss' podcast, The Tim Ferriss Show. Um, and all you have to do is basically make your own free radio show. People can subscribe to it. You talk about different subjects people are interested in. Or you can interview people. Or you can uh, entertain people. Whatever it is you want to do, you can do that on a podcast. And then you can sell advertising. You can sell. Um, you can tell people to go to your affiliate links. Tell people to go to your website and uh, buy your products. All kinds of stuff. So you can use podcasts as your platform to make money in a lot of different ways. But one of the main things people make money from with podcasting is advertisements. But uh, if you want to start a podcast, go to itunespartner.apple.com and uh, you can go and find the uh, resources for podcasting. Just look it up. It'll be a page like this and it tells you how to create a podcast, uh, the requirements, best practices, how to submit it, how to get um, approved and all that. You can do all this pretty quickly and start doing radio shows right away and um, if you get a lot of subscribers you can make a lot of money in a lot of different ways um, if you want to check out someone as an example of how to do a podcast very well check out John Lee Dumas um, you can go to eofire.com slash podcast looks like a page like this and the majority of his subscribers and followers come from his podcast and you, as you can see up here, he publishes his income reports. He's made he made one hundred ninety six thousand three hundred twenty four dollars in the last month. So obviously he does pretty well, makes millions of dollars online, and basically does that with his podcast. So you can check this out. You can look at his um, free podcast course here if you want to check out how to do it. Um, as well as he does, he teaches you how to start a podcast successfully. And so podcasting, podcasting can really be a great way to start a business. And number seven is eBay, okay? Everybody has stuff lying around um, that they can sell, whether it's old Christmas presents you didn't like or old stuff you grew out of or um, clothes you don't really care for anymore, old electronics, things like that. You can sell on eBay and have it all delivered and ship to the person who buys it um, or you can even find stuff and flip it you can do um, like some places do they uh, start an eBay store they find vintage clothing or vintage toys or or buy lots of stuff in bulk and then they sell it one at a time for a higher price on eBay and then they just flip stuff like that so if you're not sure about whether this works or you don't know um, if you really believe in an eBay business, I definitely want to challenge you to read about Nasty Gal, which is a website founded by uh, Sophia Amoruso. That's her right there. And Nasty Gal is something that started out as just a small eBay store where this girl basically was just trying to make some extra money. She didn't really um, have a lot of success at anything yet and uh, she, she describes herself as a broke anarchist basically and she found vintage clothing in some places and they, the people the people selling it didn't know it was really vintage so she would get it and flip it on eBay and made a really big business out of it eventually and uh, you can just read all about that here it's on growthhackers.com just search for nasty gal story on Google and this will come up as the first result read about it it'll tell you kinda how she became successful with her eBay business she also has a book you can buy called girl boss and uh, I think you'll definitely enjoy the story and get a lot of inspiration from it number eight is freelancing so one of the best ways to start any business as quickly as possible with as little investment as possible is just selling services that you can do and you can sell plenty of services be now because computers allow for so many things to be done and 
I would recommend that you become a freelancer at Upwork.com. Upwork.com is one of the biggest freelancing sites around. They just bought Elance. Elance was one of the biggest ones for a long time. Upwork used to be called, I um, can't remember what it was called off the top of my head, but it was uh, Odesk. That's what it was. It was Odesk. And then they changed their name. They bought Elance. So now they're by far one of the biggest freelancing sites around. All you have to do is go here, become a freelancer, fill out your profile, show your expertise in whatever field you're an expert in, and people can hire you for jobs. It's a little more professional than something like Fiverr, and you can get paid a lot more, but you have to compete more, and you have to really prove yourself, kind of like you would for a real job. But you're self-employed, and all you have to do is work from home on your computer. So if you want to be a freelancer, this is the place to go. Uh, number nine, you can do graphic design. So if you're artistic, this is one of the best things I would recommend. Um, you could start like an uh, eBay store for art or an Etsy store, but you can also do something like 99designs, where you actually design labels, packaging, t-shirts, um, any kind of apparel, um, book covers, all kinds of stuff, anything you can think of. and you can go to 99designs.com and what you do is you compete for um, big payoffs for uh, people hiring for graphic design purposes. So people, biz, big business owners and stuff, they go here for um, the best of the best designs. And if you're good at it, if you have you know a good setup for it, you're very artistic, you have a, a lot of Photoshop skills, good drawing, things like that. I would definitely recommend going to 99designs.com and becoming a designer. You go to the bottom of the website and press this right here to become a designer and they'll tell you the steps to do that. And you compete with people and when people hire uh, designers for a job and you win the competition, you get to pay um, the vast majority of it and then the rest of it goes to the website but if you're good and you kind of just deliver on what the customer wants and it looks great then you'll make a lot of money on 99designs as a graphic designer and number 10 last but not least network marketing network marketing um, to give a few examples you've probably heard of Mary Kay makeup, you've probably heard of Herbalife supplements, you've probably heard of Beachbody, um, you've probably heard of Amway, you know, the Orlando Magic basketball team is called, uh, their stadium is called the Amway Center. Amway is one of the biggest network marketing companies in the world. So these are some successful companies that go for network marketing. And what you do, you make money from product sales, but you don't have to make your own products. You sell other people, you sell the company's products and make a commission. And you can also recruit people to sell the products, and make a commission off of what they make. So you have multiple ways of making an income while still being self-employed and not having to take on a lot of uh, customer support or having to make your own products. So if you want to find a good company to look at, you might want to go to uh, MLMRankings.com. They will tell you kind of the top companies right now by popularity, and you can compare them, and they'll talk a little more about these different companies that you can join. You'll see uh, Mary Kay on here, Pampered Chefs, another one if you like food, uh, Herbalife, Advocare, Beachbody, Avon. Some of these have been around a long time, some of these are newer. Just kind of depends on what you want to sell and what you're passionate about. But you can check out the top companies here. And if you want to get some training and learn from somebody who's done this a long time, you can get network marketing advice and uh, check out blog posts, iTunes, uh, podcasts, and, and things like that from RayHigdon.com. He's a big time network marketer, he's been doing this a long time. And I would recommend him as someone to learn from as opposed to most others. So if you got something from this video, if you feel like you learned something, uh, got some ideas that maybe you'd like to check out, maybe some resources that you didn't already try, um, please like and subscribe so I can bring you more videos like this. And uh, 
if you want to include some other business ideas that you think would be very easy and quick to start the whole point of this video is things that you can start right away like as soon as today as a business online then uh, let me know in the comments if I left it out in the video or let me know what you thought about the video I'd love to hear from you in the comments and if you want to contact me directly if you want to get more in-depth blog posts on this kind of stuff or check out some courses that teach you how to do it step by step you can go to selfmadesuccess.com and other than that I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day